Well, good morning. Hope you are all doing good when you get to see this video. <clears throat> the other day I decided, you know, looking in the freezer, I'm kind of cleaning out the freezer, putting everything. To be honest, you know, my freezer is probably like everybody else. You know, you get something, you put it in there, and next thing you know, you put something else, and you forgot about what you had in the back. So every once in a while, I'll go through and clean out my freezer. You know, not really throw anything away, but restack it so I'll see what I've got. Uh, and I found some cranberries, fresh cranberries, that I had frozen in a Ziploc bag uh, from two years ago, Thanksgiving. They never got fixed. So we usually take and boil those and put a little bit of orange uh, zest and a little bit of orange juice in them and, and some sugar and make you know, cranberry sauce. So I decided I wanted to make something with them. And I love orange cranberry muffin spread, whatever you want to call that. I think Starbucks has those every once in a while. And well, I didn't have enough oranges. I just had one little orange. There's not enough to get the juice out of. So I thought, well, maybe I could make a cranberry bread with brown sugar, with a, you know a blend of brown sugar. I love the taste of brown sugar over regular sugar, and I use it in a lot of my my pie recipes and my muffin recipes. So I made brown sugar cranberry loaf. I didn't want to take the time to put it in the muffin tins. I was lazy yesterday when I first made this. And I wasn't sure if it's going to rise a lot. Just used a self-rising flour, my, my own blend. It's just regular flour with a baking powder added to it. So I baked it in two small loaf pans. One I put about three quarters full. The other, the leftover, I did the other half, about half full and put them on a sheet pan because I, like I said, I didn't know if they were going to bake up and blow out over the top. I was just experimenting. And why I did not have my video camera running, I don't know. I took some pictures of when I had put it in the oven and midway through baking and anyway, I thought I would bring y'all back because I, I took a little taste of one yesterday. It was really good and of uh, the small piece. I gave my wife some, she really loved it, and gave my buddy uh, Randy some. Uh, he came by and uh, I gave him the other half of the loaf. And he's a single dude and he said, oh man, and it, he said, I'll be eating this for dinner. And it was really good. So this morning, let me get this camera down here so you can see what's going on. Here's my other loaf. It didn't bake very tall, maybe, you know, two inches or so. Uh, it's really dense. It, it's almost like a pudding, but but it's not. It's baked. Now I checked that, and made sure it was coming. Toothpick was coming out clean. So I wrapped this one up in saran wrap, and uh, and I did find out one thing about it. It was hard to get out of the pan. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I used. I, I put butter spray in it. Maybe I sh should have used Baker's Joy. I, I'm not sure. That I was just experimenting, and I that basically I wanted to see what it tastes like. So I decided I'd bring you back this morning. It's early. It's going to be my breakfast. So I'm going to leave it wrapped up in here. So I'm just going to cut me a chunk off it off here. Let's see if we get get a line here going. There it is. You get you down so you can see that. How's that look, boys and girls? I can tell you from the little piece I had yesterday, it's wonderful. Now, there's no oil in this cake, no no oil. Someone said the other day, loved how the, I called oil. It, I know how it's spelled, but we just call it oil. So anyway, there's no oil in this. There's eggs and just a few basic baking needs that you got. I'm not going to give you the recipe. Now, I will do another video where I bake a whole loaf of this. But I wanted to share this with you. And I've got a couple of pictures that I took yesterday when I was baking this. So let me get a piece of it and uh, take a bite for you. And show you how I'm going to serve it this morning to myself. Alright, here it goes. 
I'm going to unwrap the end piece. It's really moist. It's a little sticky. It's got a lot of brown sugar in it. But I don't believe the sticky is going to be a problem. I think the sticky is going to be good. Now this uh, is about 24 hours. I've left it sitting on the cabinet. Um, covered. Let's see if it's changed. Sometimes cake is better the next day. You can see it's got nice crumb in it. It's really, really moist. Let me have this little bite here. Give you my honest opinion 24 hours later. Wish you were here to test this with me. <laughs> Man, it's real. It's even better much better the moisture has had time to go throughout the cranberry flavor is a little tart it's got the sweetness from the brown sugar which is a total different sweetness than regular sugar it's got the molasses type flavor in it oh man this is really good mm. I was going to tell you, I had a private private note the other day. It came in on the email. Um, they didn't want to put it on the... They had watched the video, and they didn't want to put it on the post. They didn't want to embarrass me. But it said, we notice when you're eating with your right hand, you're always eating with the fork down like you're a heathen. <laughs> well, it's not that. This old dude broke his elbow before I had my heart event about three years ago before I started having these trimmers that I have now, these essential trimmers. And I, I broke my right elbow, just a freak accident, fell out here in my flower bed and fell up against the corner of the brick house, right where the, right where the, you know, the corner is just really kind of a sharp point on the brick. And I hit this elbow right here. <clears throat> it was bad. <laughs> I hit the ground, hit my head, my pickup was backed up there, my grandson was there helping me do some stuff, and I rolled under my back of my pickup, when I, all in one, all in one fall, and uh, I couldn't get up because I was under my truck, and I couldn't use my right arm, it was just limp, I knew it was broke, I've been broken so many times, I knew it was a break, so I, uh, uh, Finally got a hold of my grandson, hollered at him. He come around. He said, well, Papa, what are you going to do? And I said, just drag me out from under this thing and call 911 because I can't get up because I didn't have any strength. Uh, so uh, he goes and tells my wife, and she comes out, and the, the, the ambulance comes along. <laughs> Some firefighters, nice guys from Louisville. I told him I, what had happened. One of them looked at my arm, and he said, yeah, you broke it. And I said, oh, yeah. So short story is, I uh, had to go see a specialist. They couldn't do surgery because I was in heart failure. They had to put me on some drugs to get my heart strong enough to do the surgery. And when they did the surgery, it was four and a half hours long for an elbow repair. And in my elbow right here, it looks like an erector set or a swing set. It's got so many wires and nuts and bolts and plates in it. But I can use it. And it, it's a little tight. For a long time, I couldn't even touch my face. I mean, I could just get it to right here. So over about four years now, it's gotten better, but I still can't turn my wrist. I, I, I don't have, I, 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 if I turn it like that, I can't get it to my face. I, it's just, so I eat country boy style. <laughs> so if you wonder why I eat like that, now you know the rest of the story. So let's get this unwrapped. This is gonna bring my breakfast here. I say this is kind of sticky. I'm gonna put this. This would be on my mother-in-law's plate. We have her since she passed. We have her dishes. 
And um, what else can go better with this? Yeah, you know. Some whipped cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Calf slobbers, as my wife hates me to call them. Anyway, it's going to be good. All right, I've got me a cup of coffee here. Wish y'all were here. I'd get you a big cup of coffee. Get you a bite of this wonderful brown sugar cranberry loaf. I don't even know what to call it. Well, I do, I do know what to call it. Good. Actually, two words. Very good. Let me get this up here and get a bite of this with the whipped cream. Mm. That's just like heaven. Man. Heavenly breakfast. So once I put this video up, I'll put some still shots that I took when I was baking that yesterday. And then sometime in the future, look for them out. It will be a complete video. I don't have any more cranberries. I've got to get to the store and get some fresh cranberries. But there will be a complete video on how I make this from start to finish and also the recipe. Um, what I used to make this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful loaf, cake, whatever you're going to call it. When I say it, I just call it it's good, very good. So thanks for being part of the Old Hoods world. Be sure and share my recipes and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, just hit the button subscribe. It don't, it don't cost nothing. Um, it lets uh, YouTube know and they'll share more of my videos around on the YouTube channels. So uh, I would appreciate that. And if you got any questions about anything, you can always ask me. If you don't want to put it public, you can always email me. Old dudes out here to finish my breakfast. Mm -hmm.